So this is a concrete sink that we made using one of our molds. This is a flying saucer mold is what we've got it labeled as. And it's a 19 inch diameter, three and a half inch depth, so it's very shallow. And we've got the four inch rock edge across the front and down the side. The stain on it is a coffee and a walnut. And just by the way it was applied and puddled creates these kind of uh, mottled areas. The floor in here, I don't know if it will show on the video very well, but it does have a really good color. It's kind of got a lot of red and just a variety of colors. And this was done just right on the basic concrete. Nothing was done. It wasn't sanded. It was just a basement floor. It was just cleaned uh, pretty well scrubbed and then just mopped clean once it was dry. We stained it and it was stained by doing multiple colors. There's ebony, there's mahogany, some coffee and they were just put on wet so you'd get a puddle of some wet stain in one area like right there and then puddle right up next to it with some of the dark ebony and then where the two bleed together is what creates a lot of that look. As far as the sink goes, this is just a standard lavatory faucet so it does not have a great reach on it and where this is a very wide sink. Some people maybe would want a sink that reached out a little further into it and this does work fine. If you have a problem with splashing you can always control the valves and underneath your sink to go to the faucet and just close them a little bit so you don't have the full amount of water pressure coming out. So this is running full pressure here and even when you wash your hands there's very little splashing. And as far as the finish goes where this is a bathroom we don't have to worry about being food grade. We do sell a food grade sealer for kitchens. That's a beeswax. What I like to do is just use pledge. It will keep it looking. It keeps just any minor scratches you can usually get rid of. Gives it a nice clean look and provides some protection with the wax. And the floor in here is just sealed with an acrylic floor sealer, the Super Seal 2000. So that's it.